Hey guys, the Anchor HTML element with its href attribute creates a hyperlink to web page, files, email addresses, locations in the same page or anything else a URL can address. Now besides this href attribute, an Anchor HTML element may also have a ping attribute. Now, what do we use this ping attribute for? Okay, so I'm definitely going to explain that to you and then I'm going to show you how you can automate this in Cypress. So guys, this ping attribute specifies a list of URLs to be notified if the user follows the hyperlink. So what happens when the user clicks on the hyperlink? Number one, because of this href attribute, an HTTP GET request would be sent over to the specified URL. And number two, the ping attribute will also send a short HTTP POST request to the specified URL. Now this ping attribute is useful for monitoring and tracking. So this is the core purpose of this ping attribute. But guys, like I said, you know, this makes an HTTP POST request, okay? Post request could be scary, okay? So just be very mindful of, you know, what you are doing in here. And hence, it becomes important for us to test this attribute, okay? Now, this is that application which I've created and this is the same link, okay? You do not see any information regarding that ping attribute that is not visible to the user, okay? So if something is not visible and you are solely focusing on UI, you will definitely miss out the testing of this very important attribute. So does every browser support this ping attribute? Well, no, but Google uses this heavily. So guys, let's open Chrome and open google.com. And in the search, let's search for QA box. Let's test, let's hit enter. All right, let's inspect this first element. So guys, this is that anchor element and you see href attribute contains the URL information of QA box let's test YouTube channel. Okay, that's cool. But this ping attribute also has the URL. Now this may be right not sure what's the purpose of this but this may be used by google to keep improvising its search engine it's keeping track of you it knows what kind of queries you are making what kind of products you are looking for and so on so yeah you can say you are being tracked okay all right now um, like i said i mean this is not supported by every browser so let's open firefox Okay, so google.com is open and I enter in the same string and I run the Google search. Again, let's inspect this guys. Okay, so if we look at this now, so in href, we see something similar which was there in the ping attribute in Google Chrome. Okay, so in here we do not have the ping attribute, but what is this? might be that you know whatever you are searching on firefox google knows that you are in firefox okay so whatever you have been searched that goes to the google first and then from there it is being redirected to the qa box let's test youtube channel link if you want to turn this feature on you have to say about colon config you hit enter and in here you search for browser.send underscore pings. Currently it is set to false, you can enable it, okay? So even after enabling it, if you might feel like, you know, okay, now if you launch this browser again and then you see uh, the similar behavior that you, uh, you know, uh, saw in uh, Chrome, that's not the case. It would pretty much remain the same, but now guys, this ping feature is enabled for you in the browser, okay? So I, I leave it like so. If you have to change it, you just have to click on the toggle, so now it's true, so I don't want this. So well, guys, uh, I have created a very simple setup for our testing purpose. This is the HTML page. So href contains this particular document path. And then in the ping, I have created a very basic server. Okay. And I've created a very basic uh, post method in there. So for that, guys, uh, it's already uh, exported to the GitHub. This is the folder. Okay. You'll have it. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to uh, change your directory to go to this 
folder the first thing that you have to do is you have to do npm install okay i've already done that once that is done you have to say node and you have to provide in the name of the file and like so all right so the server is up and running so now you have to just copy this url and just to check that everything works you just have to paste that in here so guys if you see this we are good okay now let us look at the code file for this as well uh, so if i make a post request okay it is going to hit this endpoint all right and all i'm doing is i'm just logging to the console in here so whatever uh query parameter that I've added to my post request. I'm just going to print it here. I'm just responding with the status code of 204. All right, let's see the behavior first. So uh, this is my page, all right. And uh, I just open the inspect section. I go to the networks tab and guys, this is my main page, okay. So you have other ping attribute.html. I click on this, okay. So I am gonna make two requests. Okay, one for the href, that would be a get request and one for the ping, which would be a post request. Okay, so I do this and you see, this is my post request. All right, and this is my get request. Okay, and if we go to a server, in here, what do you see? The query parameter. Okay, so you see Q is equal to 1000. So that is being printed in here. So in this request, if I go for request headers, all right? So we have these two important headers in a ping from, okay? That was my initial page. And then ping to was the page I'm landed to, okay? Now, for God's sake, will you please explain how to test this in Cyprus? Uh, guys, I apologize for creating long videos, but I believe, you know, we should also know uh, what we are testing and why we are testing it. More so in this very case, like I mentioned, you know, since this ping attribute won't make any difference to the user interface or application layer. If you don't know the concept, you won't uh, even test it. I believe right and just uh, ask your developers you know if there is any requirement to implement ping or do we need to uh, track something using ping attribute okay since clicking this anchor link is supposed to raise an HTTP post request we simply have to test whether one such request is being made or not yeah and uh, I'm sure you might have already guessed it yes we are going to use intercept okay cy dot intercept to intercept this request okay and validate number one one such request has been made or not okay number two whether that request contains ping to and ping from request headers all right so let's get started guys so this is my test case it's a very simple test case and we are also going to see guys whether in the console you know we have one search attribute or not so to differentiate it this time i just say uh, let's make it uh, 900 okay let me save this all right so we are good uh, let's look at the test case so we are visiting that page i'm going to click on this anchor all right that's what i'm doing in here and then i'm checking whether the path name of the new page is this or not okay but what about the ping attribute testing so like i said we are going to intercept this change so we say cy dot intercept all right so that's what we do and this time let's pass an object okay like so so what is the type of method so method type is guys post okay all right great then we also have to provide in the url now what is my url let's copy that from here okay so this is my url so i just copy this come in here and post it okay now i have to create an alias of it i say as and let me store it as ping like so and then guys we have to wait for it so let me say cy dot wait and just say ping in here all right let me run this once and then we'll check the the assertion part later all right so let me save it and the test has run all right so guys yes we have intercepted this request successfully all right there was one request which was being intercepted and in here we're waiting for it to be completed 
and this assertion is working that's fine so i'm just going to uh, open console i'm going to click on this so yes this is the yielded object so this is an object which has got the request property which further has got this address property and then guys we have got these two things in here let me copy these so we come in here and in the console you already see q900 great so guys now you say uh, dot it's okay now uh, request is one property and inside request what do we have we have headers okay so headers okay let me check that once so yes we have headers and then we have these right so yeah let's write now the assertion so we say dot should and we say deep include like so and then we pass in those two values okay so let us make these as valid javascript object all right guys so as you could see we are able to test the properties as well all right so guys this is how you are going to test the ping attribute using cypress so i hope you like this thanks for watching